Well, uh, I am honored and touched, and uh, this is an amazing crowd. Just wonderful to see it, and to pull this together in two days, I think, Elaine, that people came out. God bless you for doing this. Uh, I, this is just a fantastic thing. I want to first, I got to recognize a couple people here. Do we have, I know we have two World War II veterans. Do we have some others that are here? These two gentlemen, got a gentleman there, World War II veteran. A couple others, a gentleman here, World War II veterans. Any? One there? Let's give them a big round of applause. There's an amazing role that Kansas played in World War II. Of course, the leading figure in World War II is Dwight Eisenhower. Uh, that's from Abilene. The iconic figure of the uh, World War II generation, the greatest generation, is Bob Dole uh, of the, uh, the uh, World War II group. And then we have the honor flights that come in regularly recognizing our World War II veterans who are, uh, are still with us, but many are passing on. Uh, and it's just a great thing to recognize them, and that's part of what this is about today. I also want to uh, briefly recognize your representatives uh, here. Jay Emler, I've worked with a great deal in the state senate. It's number two ranking in the senate. Does a fabulous job. Uh, wonderful representation that you have. And then Elaine Bowers is the one that carried the bill uh, through after she got to working with Jack and his sidekick Joe uh, that brought this up and uh, got it on through. And so they do a great job. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> I gotta say, this is one of the most impressive individuals I've ever heard about uh, in Donald Ross. And I just want to read to you his citation. Uh, for those of you not familiar, for those familiar with it, you'll agree readily with me, but just listen to what all he did. I think he's a great example of some amazing things that can come from somebody uh, from a small town or any town in the state of Kansas. He was born December 8, 1910, Beverly, Kansas. Enlisted in the United States Navy in Denver, Colorado, June 3, 1929. During the attack on Pearl Harbor, his ship, the USS Nevada, was badly damaged, and his Medal of Honor citation reads this. And remember, the Medal of Honor is the highest recognition that anybody can get in the military uh, anywhere at any time. And this, this is it. This is Rhodes Scholar, this is All Pro, this is everything together in the military. It's an amazing thing, and he was the first Medal of Honor recipient in World War II. His citation reads this way. When his station in the forward dynamo room became almost untenable due to smoke, steam, and heat, he forced his men to leave that station and performed all the duties himself until blinded and unconscious. Upon being rescued and resuscitated, he returned and secured the forward dynamo room and proceeded to the aft dynamo room, where he was later again rendered unconscious by exhaustion. Upon recovering consciousness, he returned to his station, where he remained until directed to abandon it. Wow. He was presented the Medal of Honor by Admiral Chester Nimitz. The nuclear fleet is named after Admiral Nimitz on April 18, 1942, and was the first veteran of World War II to receive the medal, the Medal of Honor, the highest that's awarded by our country. So Dwight Eisenhower leads the forces. Bob Dole represents that generation. And here's the first Medal of Honor recipient in World War II, all from Kansas. He also participated in the landing at Normandy. I don't know how many people, but there aren't very many that participate and were at both Pearl Harbor and Normandy. After his service, he wrote a book about his fellow Medal of Honor recipients entitled Men of Valor. When he passed away on May 27, 1992, his ashes were scattered at sea by the USS Nevada, and in 1997, the guided missile destroyer USS Ross was named in his honor. So I am delighted to sign this bill today. And what this bill does is it'll designate a section of highway. Let me just read it here. An act designating a part of K-18 highway as the Medal of Honor recipient Donald K. Ross Memorial Highway, being enacted by the legislature of the state of Kansas 
the junction of U.S. Highway 81 to K-18 Highway from west on K-18 Highway to the western bounty of Lincoln County is hereby designated as the Medal of Honor recipient Donald K. Ross Memorial Highway. Secretary of Transportation shall place signs along the highway right of way at proper intervals to indicate that the highway is the Medal of Honor recipient Donald K. Ross Memorial Highway, except that such signs shall not be placed until the Secretary has received sufficient funds from gifts and donations to reimburse the Secretary for the cost of placing such signs an additional 50% to defray costs. So that is a suggestion to anybody here today if you're interested in contributing. <laughs> this would be well received. This act shall take effect and be enforced from and after the publication of the Kansas Register. I'm honored to sign it today. I have to take the, the official back to Topeka uh, to get it enrolled, but um, we have five copies for you. Jack, why don't you step up here? Thanks for being a ramrod to see this uh, getting done. Thank you very much, Jim. Would you like to say anything to the folks about this? <coughs> well, we thank everybody in the community. <coughs> see help nationwide. We may need some, but uh, people have let us know very proud to back. Very long overdue. Yeah. It's approaching the end. It's been well worth it. We need to thank everybody. Lane, why don't you step up here? The signing pits. And Lane was the chief carrier of it. Do you have uh, anything you'd like to say? Well, we should say Senator Jerry Moran. Oh, yes, yes, please, please. Senator Moran couldn't be with us today, but he did send along his greetings I'd like to read to you here. Dear friends, congratulations on the designation of 40 miles of Kansas Highway 18 as a Donald K. Ross Memorial Highway. Your commitment to honoring Beverly Native World War II veteran and Medal of Honor recipient Donald Ross for his service to our country is to be commended. An act like this reminds me of how special way of life we enjoy in Kansas. Neighbors want to help neighbors and make sure veterans like Donald Ross receive recognition for their courage and sacrifices. I appreciate your selflessness and pride in your community. And again, congratulations on this day. Let me know if I can ever be of service. Signed, very truly yours, Jerry Moran. I think all I'd like to say is that there will be an unveiling ceremony and uh, I was just given the uh, date and we are working on that ceremony and if all falls into place the signs are are actually made and put in place we plan on having that ceremony on 27 May at 1330 hours now for the rest of you that would be May 27th at 1 30 in the afternoon <laughs> Thank you, Jay. And for the county commission let me sign 